Welcome to Technicians Tuesday. Today we are going to run through your boat's fuel system and show you how to figure out why the engine runs out of fuel. You'll want to get subscribed to the channel and follow us on Instagram because this week's contest prize is going to be a fuel kit that we have put together for you. There are only three big issues that we find for a boat engine to run out of fuel. Either the engine's lift pump has failed, the boat is out of fuel, or there is an air leak or blockage somewhere in the fuel lines from the fuel tank to the engine. There are many different types of lift pumps or low pressure fuel pumps that have been used across many different manufacturers and engine models over the years. Troubleshooting an electric low pressure pump can be as simple as turning the key switch on and listening to hear if the pump turns on or activates. If you don't hear anything, check to see if the fuse is blown, because then there is a more complex form of troubleshooting where we start checking to see what kind of vacuum the fuel pump has and even pulling the pump off of the engine to bench test it. Mechanical fuel pumps are a little simpler though, you can just pull the fuel hose off of the output side of the pump and crank the engine over to see if the pump is pumping fuel. Mechanical fuel pumps are usually driven by either diaphragm and crankcase pressure to a lobe on the camshaft. We won't go much deeper than that for this video because we are more concerned with why the engine isn't getting fuel in the first place. Next week we will be covering how you can make sure that your boat never runs out of fuel again by taking you through the process of how the fuel gauge and fuel sending system operates. So you'll have to wait until then if you have an issue with running your fuel tank empty, which most of us have done at least once. Today's focus though is on figuring out why a fuel tank can be full and the lift pump operating properly, but the engine still runs out of fuel. This is normally because there is an air leak or a blockage of some sort somewhere from the pickup tube that is in the fuel tank to the engine lift pump. We'll start troubleshooting this by utilizing a piece of clear 3 8 inch hose and simply putting the hose in line at the engine where the fuel line comes into the engine. We are looking for air bubbles to be flowing through the clear hose which are going to be telling us that there is an air leak coming from somewhere in the boat. The best way and the quickest way to troubleshoot this is to start the way we did with installing the clear hose at the engine. Then we will move from the engine towards the fuel tank and this will depend heavily on how your fuel line setup is in your boat. Most boats fuel pickup system has these components in them. You have the fuel tank pickup in the tank. That goes to a hose barb to feed the fuel from the fuel pickup to either a fuel tank selector switch for boats that have more than one fuel tank in them. Then if there isn't a selector switch, it should go to a fuel water separator. Once the fuel goes through the water separator, it will come out the other side and go to a primer bulb or straight to the engine, which is where we started. What we need to do is basically move our clear hose from the engine down the line through the system to go in front of each of these components. That will show us where the source of the air leak is coming from. A good tip is that you want to check to see if you have extra fuel hose at whichever item you are checking next. And as long as you do have extra line, then take a utility knife and just cut the hose off of the hose barb. Most of the time the hose will have shrunk onto the hose barb and pulling it off can become a real hassle. So just putting a slice in the hose and pulling it off will make life a lot better. We can now just move our hose from the engine down to the primer bulb and then down to the water separator or whichever order your boat has these items. The more common source for an air leak is the water separator because these filters can rust out and if it hasn't been changed in a year or two, then it probably has a hole rusted in the bottom of it and it is leaking fuel into the bilge and not allowing the system to prime up. If the water separator or bracket isn't the issue though, then we'll go straight to the fuel tank pickup and see what's going on. The fittings on the pickup could be corroded away, the fuel tank pickup itself could be corroded or even broken.
which does happen. And now, we still need to talk about the blockage issue. But first, you'll want to subscribe to the channel and drop a comment below and tell us about a time that you had a fuel issue on your boat. Include a hashtag gas leak for your chance to win the testing equipment. Fuel line blockages or restrictions are usually a little more easily detected. That is because if you have a good strong lift pump and a primer bulb, you'll notice that the lift pump will suck the primer bulb flat when there is a restriction or blockage on the fuel tank side of the primer bulb. So if you notice that your primer bulb is sucking flat, then you've got a restriction somewhere between the bulb and the fuel tank pickup. The most common sources for restrictions are going to be number one, the anti-siphon valve. Now just for a little clarity here with this valve, most outboard boats for over a decade now do not come with anti-siphon valves. These are usually found on older boats built a while ago. That is because the valves are only required if the fuel lines from the top of the tank go below the top of the tank. Most manufacturers put shutoff valves on the water separators and have the lines above the top of the tank. Now in most inboard boats on the other hand, where the fuel lines do go below the top of the fuel tank by the time it gets to the engine, it is my understanding that these are still required or some sort of shutoff valves or system has to be used. This is to prevent fuel from siphoning out of the fuel tank and into the bilge in the case that the hose coming from the pickup gets a hole in it. But these valves are a big source for a blockage and can get corroded or gummed up pretty easily. Then the next location for a blockage is going to be on the bottom of the fuel tank pickup. A lot of times fuel tank pickups will have screens on them and depending on the age of the boat and the condition of the fuel and the fuel tank, that screen can get clogged and create a blockage, stopping the lift pump from being able to pull the fuel from the fuel tank to your engine. And now that you know all about your boat's fuel tank system, don't forget to hit that like button and we look forward to seeing you next week where we will be going over that fuel gauge system which you don't want to miss out on. <laughs>